I said, oh, are you Richard McMahon, the guy who got shot? He goes, yeah, that's me, I'm Richard. And I was like, you got shot? And he said, yeah. And he shows me the two holes where it went in and out. And I just couldn't believe it. He was fine, like nothing happened at all. Richard McMahon, who is called to a bar, the Funky Monkey Lounge. The neighbor called and said that there was an extremely intoxicated man laying on the ground. So he got there and he called it in as an intox, which he said just means the person's not dangerous. They're just extremely like ossified and they need medical care. So they take him to the hospital. It was one of those calls. And what the EMT told me was that they're in the back of the ambulance and he's doing his patient interview paperwork. And he says he looks up and there's a gun pointed right in his face. And he watches the guy pull, the, starts to pull the trigger and he kind of ducks out of the way as much as he can. And the guy fires and it goes into his shoulder. And then he's going to shoot again. And the EMT reaches out, grabs the gun and twists it and tries to pull it out of the guy's hand. He throws the gun out the door, dives out the door and lays on the ground so the partner can tend his uh, bullet wound now in the back of his shoulder. So another question that kind of pops into not just my mind, but anybody who's hearing the story is why weren't the police there? Don't the police show up to drunken disorderly calls? Don't they follow the ambulance to the hospital and escort the EMTs while they're dealing with dangerous patients? Like this person was a very dangerous patient. So Richard had told me himself that the call came over to him as an unknown. In that particular case, he's gonna show up and he's gonna kind of like assess. He's gonna see if this person is dangerous, if they need the police to, to intercede and help them out on this call. And what Richard said was that this individual seemed nice. His words were just the average drunk at the bar who drank too much. That's who he believed this person to be. So in that particular case, he put it down as intox. In other words, not drunk and disorderly, not something where he needs the police. And they just started taking this individual to the hospital. After all this happened, the EMT went to the hospital where he works. The next morning, he got kind of like a walkout ceremony. I covered it. The group called Rolling Thunder, which are motorcycle enthusiasts, I guess is the best way to put it. But most of them are retired EMTs. They showed up for this guy and gave him an escort all the way home. While I was at the hospital, I ran into one of the doctors who works the psychiatric unit, and I asked him, you know, isn't this bizarre that somebody is brought in by ambulance with a gun on them? And he said, no, this happens all the time, which shocked me. So when I was talking to the EMT, I figured he's on the front lines of this, he's gotta know. And I said, you know, were you surprised to be shot when you're just trying to help someone? You're trying to like come to someone's medical aid. Did you even think this was a possibility? And he was very serious about it. And he just said, this is happening way more than the public is made, being made aware of. And I'll have to take his word for it because I was not aware that people who are responding to ambulance calls, 911 calls, are picking up people who are sick or drunk or on drugs or crazy or whatever, and they're armed to the teeth. All these people who are out there, you know, dealing with the problems of the public, they're dealing with people that are unknown, that are wild cards. They could seem normal and then the next minute, there's a gun in your face and someone's shoot, trying to kill you. It's a dangerous job. EMT is a lot more dangerous of a job than I thought it was. So thanks a lot for watching. If you like this kind of content, go ahead and hit the like button. If you wanna be kept in the loop on the stories we're running on for the New York Post, Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Thank you.